Well, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look out of my window. Oh, wait a minute. You can't see nothing. <laughs> Let's get our day started. Look at this. Do you see what I see? <laughs> Yikes! This is not a good scene today, that is for sure. In 200 meters. And I'm supposed to go empty like this yet. Yikes! I don't have a trailer behind me right now, but I'm supposed to go pick up an empty. I was supposed to pick one up over here, but. Uh, they had none left here, so uh, I'm supposed to go into Regina. There, I got another place down there somewhere where we can uh, supposedly be getting empties over there. So we'll go check that place out. See, if we got an empty in there, and. Uh, Grab an empty over there, but uh, yeah, we're supposed to go to York and Saskatchewan from here. Industrial drive. And that might be a little bit scary going with an empty, and uh, it is fairly windy. It's about, I would say, 28 mile an hour wind. Almost, uh, well, it's at 42 kilometers an hour wind. Industrial drive. And then, so, uh, 16 meters. It could be nasty out there. We're going to just have to take a really easy. That's right. But we got to get going. That's for sure. All right. Where do you want to go there? Four there. All right. You want to go that way? I want to go this way. Turn back. Yeah. By the way, there was no stop sign there, so I didn't run no stop sign. For those of you that might be screaming at me. Luckily, we got them new tires on, right? Let's see if we can make it into town. Yeah, looking good. We made it onto the highway. But it is slick. Uh, I kind of figured out last night it would be getting really slick because it was warm there all day yesterday and then all of a sudden uh, cooling off like like that you know like really fast I kind of figured that that it would get really slippery because uh, our roads are warm you know and then you get this really wet snow on top of it uh, that just makes for a really slippery condition you know but anyways, let's go see if we can find us an empty over there and see if we can slowly um, start making our way towards uh, Orton. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are good to go. And this guy right here to the left, he did not do a tug test. He picked up a trailer here in the yard and he forgot to do a tug test. So he, uh, look at that, his trailer fell off. Can you see that? That's what happens when you don't do a tug test. Now he's got to crank it all the way up and uh, make sure that uh, he gets it back under there and make sure he does a tug test, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we do a tug test as well. Mind you, I already did do a tug test, but there we go. My trailer is just sliding on this ice, but uh, I already did do a tug test to make sure that my trailer was uh, was in. But yeah, that's something you gotta do in winter. Meters. Turn left on Broad Street. You can't just hook up to a trailer and go, you know. 
doesn't work that way especially in winter like especially when you got a lot of snow meters. Turn like this down. on your Cross fifth field and you back underneath that trailer you better make sure you do a tug test otherwise your trailer is going to fall off luckily he wasn't going fast meters. or he wasn't even uh, off the yard Cross yet but he was in the process of leaving the yard that's for sure but here we are we got our empty and now we're gonna make our way down to uh, Yorkton if we can. Just gotta get out of Regina first. I hope that wind is not gonna blow us off the road. This is very slippery here. Yeah, it's gonna be a challenge getting on this road. This road is a very busy, busy road. But yeah, did you guys expect to see this uh, kind of weather today? I don't think so. I don't think you guys would have expected to see this kind of temperature today, eh? or or this kind of snow today. It snowed quite a bit, actually. I'm just going a little bit further to the road, so that way I can see if there's traffic coming. Yeah, we uh, made it across. So we are good to go. Yeah. It is quite slippery out here, that is for sure. Yeah, I'm just hoping we can get down to Yorkton safely. And that's the number one priority right now. Because uh, once we get down to Yorkton, it's going to be... Uh, basically, we will pick up a loaded trailer. And uh, once we have a loaded trailer, we're usually good to go, you know. But yeah. <clears throat> Let's get out of Regina. Well, we have now officially gotten our preloaded trailer. The load was ready. Yes, I'm very, very, very happy about that. That the load was ready. We made it safely up here to Yorkton. Yeah, went and scaled the load and we are good to go. We're pretty much exactly 80,000 in gross. Mind you, I'm a little under half of a tank of a fuel, but uh, you know, there's lighter trucks out there than me, than me that can hold us in the United States legally. I mean, I was 80,000 and 48 pounds. We're allowed 80,000, but 48 pounds is no big deal. You know, but uh, yeah, so we are good to go. We are just dropping this load in uh, Steinbach Yard. And then somebody also take it from there and deliver it. And then I'm done. I'm be taking a reset and go again. But we're just planning on doing a short trip. And uh, if they will have one, because uh, Friday is Good Friday. So I don't know if they'll have a load for me. <coughs> So we'll have to uh, have to see about that. But I was going to talk about a little bit is uh, about the little clip that I showed you earlier, where the guy uh, guy's trailer was uh, not locked, like the fifth wheel was not locked. Where I showed you guys where he pretty much uh, the trailer fell off. And the reason why I show you that is not to, you know, make the guy look bad or anything like that. Uh, that's not my intent. My intent to show you guys uh, that is just so to give you guys a friendly reminder for those of you that are drivers to do a tug test. Just to show you how important it is to do a tug test. And uh, what a tug test is, 
If you back underneath your trailer, your refill is supposed to lock in place. And then what you do is you put it in forward gear and pull it a little bit forward to see if that fulfill is actually locked to make sure that you're not uh, just underneath the trailer and then your fulfill isn't locked you know so that is what they call a tug test so you don't release your trailer brakes you leave your trailer brakes on so that the trailer is braked uh, what I usually do is I don't even get out before I do a tug test. What I do is I back underneath the trailer, do a tug test, I don't even hook up my lines, nothing. I, because that way I'm locked, that way I know that brakes are on on the trailer, and I just try to pull forward, and if I can't, then I know I'm, I'm locked. My fifth field is locked. So then I go and uh, hook up my uh, electrical cord, my airlines, check the rest of the trailer make sure all the lights and bricks and everything looks good and then I continue on with my journey you know <clears throat> but uh, things like that do happen out there you know I mean even the best of us uh, we might even have done a tough test and it might have felt good you know but maybe it was sort of locked but maybe not all the way and as soon as you maybe make a sharp turn or something like that, it could come apart, you know? Because there's a lot of pressure. Basically, just that one little pin is basically holding that whole trailer on your tractor. I've sometimes wondered myself how that is possible, but that one little pin that's in there and that fifth wheel, how is that able to hold the whole trailer? 45,000 pounds in the trailer and the trailer weighs something yet, you know It is amazing How they figure that out That that is supposed to be strong enough to hold that whole trailer But it is so uh, I guess that's all that really matters But yeah, it's uh, pretty much stopped snowing now got like a little light I don't know flurries or moisture in the air but other than that it's good yep yeah I was just happy that I was able to make it to Yorkton safely especially with an empty trailer like that you know like that's uh, less traction the wind can get a hold of that and if it's icy it can basically pushed me right off the road but uh, we made it and I think a lot of that has to do with the new tires that I got on I think that is a big help even last night when I was driving in that snow and slush there it just felt so much safer being out there you know and that's a great feeling you know when you know you got new tires good tires traction is good that's just an awesome feeling, you know, when you feel safe out there on the road. There's nothing like having really bad tires and you're going down the road and all of a sudden you start feeling your truck going this way or that way, you know. That's a terrible feeling. I've had that happen to me. That is not something you ever want. <laughs> yeah, and then when you got a load on there, it's a little different story, you know. The uh, truck weighs down heavier on, on the road, you know, so you're more secured on the road. And, uh, yeah, so we're just very happy that we made it, and here we are. Put the hammer down going home, we're able to go back on cruise, the roads is starting to get dried up. No more snow and ice on the road, it looks like. So that's fantastic. Looks like we got 509 kilometers to go till we get home. It's about five and a quarter hours worth of driving. And it's about quarter after two. So we're going to be home late tonight, but uh, that's okay. So that'll be three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, about 7.30, 8 o'clock we'll be home. Yeah, we'll do our paperwork and all that. And... Uh, Go home, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, we'll 
we'll continue on cruising along here and we will show you what we can. We appreciate you guys uh, sticking around, yeah? If you watched it up to here, you definitely know you, you mean business. You definitely enjoy my videos and I appreciate that if you are that kind of person. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now in Manitoba. And we've been in Manitoba now for probably an hour and a half, maybe. Maybe two hours. But uh, yeah, we already went to uh, Nipawa. Yeah, Manitoba that is. That's on Highway 16. Yeah, it looks like they didn't get a whole lot of snow up here in Manitoba. But I'm happy we got uh, a little bit of sunshine. Sun is uh, peeking through a little bit. It's not windy anymore. Dry roads. That makes me happy. Yeah, that's right. I don't know what this guy is doing. He got some kind of lights up there, but doesn't really say what kind of. Uh, like I had the sticker on the side, but it was so dirty I couldn't see what it's supposed to be. Some kind of government or uh, worker or construction worker or something. Oh well. We got about two and a half hours to go till we will be home. Although it will take us a little bit longer because uh, we got to fuel up the truck yet yeah, when we get into Headingley, uh, which is just outside of Winnipeg. We'll fuel her up there at the uh, Flying J. I like fueling up at the Flying J, you know. We'll fuel her up over there so that way we're good to go next time we go out. That's right. Yeah. Looks like right now, uh, with fueling and everything, looks like we'll be home around, well, 9 o'clock probably. And then we still got to drop the trailer and do our paperwork. Here we are ladies and gentlemen. We are now leaving the Flying J here in Headingley, Manitoba. Finished filling up the truck. Yeah. Scale was open obviously here in uh, Headingley. But they didn't bother us because we're legal. We're legal with our weight. That's right, that's why we scaled it. Yeah. Now we got about an hour till we get to the yard in Steinbach. I bet you by that time the uh, sun is gonna be going down. Uh, it's almost down already. But... In 200 meters, turn right on yeah. Avenue, Highway 1. We will do that, RJ. We will do that. Yeah. So, we have made pretty good time today, I think. Especially uh, considering all that snowstorm and all of that. So, yeah. I'm happy to be home. and I'm just a little worried on what kind of loads we will get there after uh, after uh, tomorrow like I want to go out on Thursday but I guess we'll find out if we do get a load or not because uh, Friday is basically a uh, well, Good Friday, they call it in English. Meters, slide right on Highway 100 East Kenora. So there ain't going to be too many places open on Good Friday, I can guarantee you that. And so that might be a little bit challenging getting a load. Yes. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. In 200 meters, slide right on Highway 100 East Kenora. Alright RJ, we will do that. We shall do that. So, let's get on down home and uh, 
take the day off. We got to bring in the truck tomorrow to the shop. I want to get my AC compressor changed. As I showed you earlier in the week, it uh, blew up on me pretty much. So now we got to put a new uh, AC compressor on there. That's right. Continue on this road for 32 kilometers. But that's the way it goes as uh, being an owner operator. You got to pay for all of these things and I mean even for a company driver you know these things do happen and uh, you got to get these things fixed. That's right. We're just coming up to the uh, I believe they call it Red River up here. I'm gonna go over the little river. like that when I say that so every once in a while I would say that oh yeah here's the river I was talking about looks like it's pretty much melted already not too much ice in there anymore already ladies and gentlemen we are home and it is the next day already but uh, I think I figured I would close off the show anyways yeah we had us a good night's sleep. We got home around 9.30 last night here at home. I got to the yard about quarter to nine or something like that. So, uh, yeah, nice, beautiful sunshine out there today. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but uh, it is nice and bright. And I'm hoping I'm making you dizzy by turning. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Don't really want to make you guys dizzy, but uh, yeah. Yeah. We are just here at home putting all the video files into the computer. I already edited uh, one video and it's being uploaded right now. So I figured, well, I finished up yesterday's video here right now. And then uh, we'll put that into the uh, editor and edit it all up together for you and uh, upload it. So that way it's uploaded. Yes, that's right. But anyways, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Give me a big thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. Hey, share that video. Hit that share button down there below. And uh, people will find out about me. That's helped me get to 1,900 subscribers. I've been kind of stuck around the 1894, 95, somewhere around there. So share that video and help me get to 1,900 subscribers. Yeah. With that being said, have a good one. And we will catch you again tomorrow. So stick around for that. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.